welcome to my channel and let's get right into it. I am starting with some collage tiles from Tim Holtz Ideology Collection. I am roughening up the edges with the paper distressor and I am inking the edges with a brown ink, the archival ink. You can see I already laid down a pattern for the tiles and that is easy because when you are going to glue them down you exactly know which spot which one goes. And to glue them down I am using the Distress Collage Medium. The tiles are beautiful but I do want to age them a little bit. I am using the Oxide Spray Walnut Stain and I'm using the nozzle to put some drips and drops and splatters on. And this is what it looks like up close. I really like the staining. I am going to mount the tiles on top of a 4 mm thick cardboard. But the sheet of tiles was too big, so I needed to tear off some edges. Here I am pointing out my stitch lines. You really have to stitch your lines right now before gluing it on top of the cardboard. On the background that we just created I would like to make a shelf. I am trying to create a shelf out of a baseboard frame. This is the baseboard lace frame from Tim Holtz and I'm just cutting a piece off that I can use. And take the piece a little wider than you really need. Only one side of this frame has a pattern, but I would also like a pattern on the white side. So I'm first putting down a layer of white gesso that is like a primer. I am using a grey acrylic paint just to cover the white background. I do not want these layers of paint to be exact and very neat, so I am putting the acrylic paint on with my fingertips. Then it is time to search for a pattern that goes on top. I am going to create the pattern with a stencil and some acrylic paint. I cut the shelf into the right size and I found some cute little wooden blocks with some letters on it. The shelf and the white blocks are a little bit too white, so I'm going to ink them up with the archival ink coffee color. I am going to create a background for the portrait and I'm going to do that with the botanical layers from Tim Holtz. Not every flower has the right size, so I'm cutting off the excess that I do not need underneath the portrait. Otherwise all these layers of paper will be too bulky underneath. I am paying attention to the place where I put the flowers behind the woman uh, and I make a picture with my cell phone just to remind myself where to place the flowers when I want to glue them down.
I would like to prolong the dark color of the dress of the doll underneath the shelf. It will create a little bit more interest, a little bit more contrast and a little extra layer. Now it is time to glue the wooden box underneath the shelf. And with this kind of work I find it very easy to use these handy clips. They will keep everything in place while you can work on some other pieces of the project. I found a leftover piece of paper with a little bit of pink in it uh, that will match the background and the flowers. And I also found a nice little snippet out of the curator pack. These little pieces of paper will create an extra interest in the background, even though later on you will see I will put things in front of it. I took out some crackle paste translucent to put on top of these cute glass vials and these are the apothecary vials from Tim Holtz. I am smearing the crackle paste just randomly and irregularly on the bottles. When there is a nice coat on top of the bottle, just put them to the side and let them air dry. While the bottles and the crackle paste are drying on the side, I took out some book covers out of an ephemera pack and I'm going to make two little mini books. I am making sure that I fold the lines of the spine very well and I am inking up all the edges and the inside of the book cover. Then it is time to make the pages for the inside. To make these inner pages I am using some leftover and scrap pieces of printer paper and it's just regular printer paper. My goal is to make one section of papers with the right size that is also immediately my template for the other sections that will go into this mini book. I am going to glue the book cover and the four sections together with the Distress Collage Medium from Tim Holtz. 
and I begin with just putting one section in front of me, putting glue on the top and adding the next section on top. And you can do that for all four sections. Once you have glued all four sections together, you can put some glue on the bottom section and glue it into the back of the book cover. You will notice that the pages are still loose. Just put some glue in between and press so they will adhere. I would like just a little decoration on top of the book cover and I'm using the Curator Snippets Pack to do so. I am choosing two little snippets to make the book cover complete. And do not forget to also age these little pieces of paper. You can do that by crunch them up, maybe make a tear or use the paper distressor on the edges. Now back to the glass vials. In the meantime they have dried and the crackle paste have cracked and I'm going to add another layer. This layer is about white acrylic ink. I am putting the ink on very roughly and any excess can be removed with the towel underneath. To embellish the cork of the vials I am using an upholstery embellishment. It works a little bit like a thumbtack, so just push it into the cork. You can see that the cork and the embellishments are very clean and I would like to make it a little bit more old and dirty. And that is the reason that I'm putting on some paint. While the corks are drying to the side, I found some cheesecloth to work with. I just draped the cheesecloth in a nice way and I'm cutting off any excess. I am stacking up some ink pads just to hold this piece upright, so I can glue the cheesecloth down with the Distress Collage Medium. After that, use your clips to hold the cloth in place. Now back to the bottles again. I think they are quite white right now and I would like to add some colors and I am using the alcohol ink pistachio to do so. Just lay some drops of alcohol on top of the bottle and rub in with your fingertips. To create the effect of a leaking bottle I am adding some drips and drops of the oxide spray salt water taffy. Use your fingertips to dab the ink. To make a nice finishing look on the bottles I chose some curator snippets as a label that go on top. And do not forget that even these small labels need some roughening up to make it look aged.
I found a neutral color Cizel and I am going to add it uh, on top of the shelf underneath all my props. Just put a little bit of glue on top of the cheesecloth, press the Cizel in and hold it in place with a clip. Repeat these steps on the other side of the shelf and put it to the side to let it air dry. Let's glue everything down beginning with this standing book. And for the rest of my scenery and the flowers I used a glue gun. When I glued the Cezelle down, I kept it long, because then you have the choice to keep it that way or cut it shorter when necessary. And this is what it looks like close up after trimming down the Cezelle. After taking a close look at the panel, I found a gap in between the books and the bottles, which I would like to fill. To do so I am using a chip quote and I'm going to make it a little bit more aged and I'm using the Distress Inked Saltwater Taffy and right now the Vintage Photo. Just adhere some spots and some splatters to give it an aged and dirty look. I am using the Distressed Embossing Ink to put on a layer on the quote so I can add the Frosted Crystal on top. Tap off the excess of Frosted Crystal and put it back into the jar and then it's time to heat the Frosted Crystal. Do not overheat because then it will turn out with a glance. Last but not least I will smear some Distressed Saltwater Taffy Paint along the sides. To let the quote stand on top of the little book, I'm going to create a little block of cardboard on the back of the quote. That will help the quote glued down and keep it in place. I hope you found some inspiration in this video, when you do, please like, subscribe or comment down below. Besides that you can also support my content by becoming a patron, I will put the link in the description box below.